got one workout today. <laughs> workout outfit, do they fit? You tell me. Okay, no. <laughs> so there you are on one. Hilarious. <laughs> Real quick, so we are in our outfits today. You know what? These COVID pounds. Yeah, it's time to get back on track. Well, before we get started, yes. we gotta say this because our producer will get us. Oh, Lord, please, let's say it. Let's say <laughs> it right. Okay? You will try to start back to one, and we're not doing that. So, <laughs> please click like and subscribe. Yes. And hit that notification button That's so right. you always know that when we, when we upload a new video, we would love to have you every week. We love you. We see you every Wednesday. We're so excited. Yes. 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 Whew, we got that out the way. Let me go. So you can hear it clapping a little bit in the background. Whew. Anywho. Yeah. I have gained a lot of weight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> COVID-19 pounds. A little bit of a uh, lot together. <laughs> okay. Yes. You know what? You know what? Okay. When it first started, and we were working from home. I, for me, I, we worked from home for a yeah. few months. I was like, well, I have a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. I could actually go hiking. And I actually have enjoyed that. I've been going out with one of my, um, one of my girlfriends. We loved, I loved it. Um, you know, keeping our masks on. Uh, I love the trail that we go to. We go to a trail called Peter's Canyon. And they have like seven or eight different trails you can take. Some really, really hard and some really, really easy. And then there's some in between. Mm -hmm. Just one day, one day she was feeling real froggy. At least she was feeling froggy. Not you, but she was feeling froggy. I didn't feel froggy. She was like, let's just try this one. It was it was this one and it was a little hard on me. And ever since then, my hip flexor has been giving me a problem. So it's been on and off, on and off. I haven't had enough time for it to be off uh, a pain where I'm like, okay, it's time for me to go back. Yeah. So you know, in the midst of that, what else am I gonna do? Try all kinds of stuff. I mean, there's so many things. There's so many things I love to taste so. and to try. What you been so. doing? Um, you know, at first, when when the quarantine first started, I actually lost a few pounds mm. because you know that. you're like cooking at home. Mm -hmm. It's not as much salt. You know, you just don't eat as much. You kind of kind of graze. It's not that one chicken dish that you made. What chicken you dish? You put a lot of salt. <laughs> oh, well, that was dumb. Don't ever. I tell you right now, don't you ever mix kicking chicken and garlic salt and seasoned salt and let that sit overnight because I'm telling you, your pressure will go up <laughs> and you will be thirsty all day. Uh, and then you're like, oh, I can cook that. I can cook that. I mean, I'm making breakfast every day. I like maple bacon. I'm eating maple bacon and cream of wheat. I don't want no regular butter. I want real. I mean, I don't want no uh, low fat butter or smart balance. I want butter. <laughs> you know, all that. So, yeah. yeah. So now it's time to really curtail that. I've done the Weight Watchers journey and it's and you can amazing. Too. And so it's like, you know what the right things to do are. And especially now that we're in our 40s, it really is important for us to, to take care of our bodies and to be more health conscious. And so we want longevity, right? And we want good quality of life as well. And so because of that, we are going to make some changes. So today we have a special guest that's really going to help us kickstart this new journey, show us what she's been doing as far as staying healthy and how she's doing it. She's made a transformation during this COVID season by she the things has. that she's doing. And so we are excited to talk to her and to get some pointers from her and to you know see what she's doing so that we can incorporate that into what we're doing and hopefully that will give you some tools and tips as well. So yeah, she is, she's been a sister of ours. When we first met her, it was an instant love. And yes. she gives the best hug. Yes. She has the cutest family. Yes. We're gonna let her talk a little bit more about her family and her journey. But her name is Rachel. Come on, give her a hand. Woo! So Rachel, thank you so much for joining us. Yes. She's a beautiful brown skinny girl. <laughs> yes, love she her. is. Love her. Love her. <laughs> so, Rachel, you've been on this journey, this weight loss journey. You've been you've been posting on Facebook. It's yes. been great to watch and be motivated. Mm -hmm. And at one point, I was with you, and then I, you know, that's sort of eating. So. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself and like, what do you do? Yes. So, I've been married now for 18 years to my high school sweetheart. Aww. You're so young. Yeah. You're right here as well. <laughs> Like everyone else, you know, um, after I had children, you know, the weight.
weight has always been a struggle since then. Girl, that, 21 that years of this. I know, 20, <laughs> 20 more years of this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it goes up and yeah. then it comes yeah. back down yeah. and goes yeah. up. So it's a constant you know, yeah. fluctuation with that. And, you know, especially with COVID and being at home, as you mentioned before, constantly just eating and just sitting and not really doing anything. Yeah. So I, too, started to gain extra weight on top of the weight that I had not already lost. And so I just really got to a point where I knew that I needed to make a change with the way I was eating. That was really the trigger for me. I needed to change how I was eating. I was somewhat active before that point, but I really wasn't seeing any change in my weight loss. And I knew I needed to make a change in what I was eating. So, so have you, are you like on something that you kind of created yourself? Or? No. Okay, okay. So it's cleanfoodcrush.com. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. It is an official program. Okay. Okay. Um, and it really teaches you um, the importance of clean eating. And uh -huh. we can talk a little bit about that. Yeah. yeah. Um, as well as meal prepping. And so originally the challenge is just for 30 days. Okay. But I've been kind of following the program since I started. So I'm now in month two of my journey. Okay. And I've dropped down about 15 pounds. Wow. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Great. Thank you. you look awesome. Yeah. So what's the method to your methods? Like how are you meal prepping? And then really, what's clean eating? Yeah, what's like, I'll watch my burger. <laughs> <laughs> watch my french fries before I eat a cat. Are the types of things that comes with clean eating. Oh, got it. Um, so that so the program really teaches you the importance of clean eating um, when you do your shopping, when you're reading labels, mm. what to look for. Okay. Basically, um, it's good to follow when you're reading a label. Mm. If it's something that's in your cupboard or in your pantry at home, it's ideally something that's good for you. Mm. If you can't pronounce it, it's probably not something that you need to uh, So that's also something that I've been learning in meal prep. The program really talks about the importance of meal prepping and it's very important, um, at least for me on my journey. And so I take one day a week mm -hmm. on Sundays. That's the day that I designated right now okay. um, for my meal prepping day. And I plan out what I plan to eat for the remainder of the week. You gotta write that down. I write it okay. down. Okay. Wow. I figure out what my meals are going to be and I meal prep my breakfast and lunch. And it's usually two breakfasts, two lunch okay. items. And then um, whatever ingredients I need to make my meals, mm -hmm. I plan all that out before I go to the grocery store. So I know what I'm going to get from the grocery store yeah. so I'm not adding in. Yeah, you know, you're like, hey, yeah. Yeah. Don't go to the grocery store home. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely don't go. And, and apparently store. don't go without a plan. Don't yeah. go without a plan. Yeah. Yeah. At that point, you're just grabbing things, you yeah. know, just putting it in the cart. Um, and so I take everything home once I get get done from the grocery store, and I spend two to four hours on a Sunday. Wow. Yeah. Plus very intentional. My, very intentional. Very That's detailed. Good. But it sets me up for the week. Yeah. So that way, um, I'm currently working from home, as a lot of people yeah. are. And so when the time comes that I need to eat, I don't have to worry about getting too hungry to where I'm just grabbing something that I really yeah. don't need to be eating. And I just warm it up and I sit there and I eat it and I know that it's good for me because I prepared it myself and I know what is in the ingredients. That's so, great. So, so the taste. Mm -hmm. Are you is that something you have to get you know used to? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Definitely something you have to get used to, it's something I'm still getting used to. Um, in the first week of the challenge, which was originally 30 days, you go through a sugar detox. Oh. So it's really doing a cleaning of your body, all of the things that you're used to eating that's not necessarily good for you. And it really is a low sugar type plan. Okay. So okay. I cook with now a lot of stevia, which is a sugar yeah. substitute, raw honey. Um, so obviously it's not as sweet as things that we're used to eating, yeah. but you know that it's still good for you. Yeah. Wow, wow, that is really, really good. Wow. Two to four hours of meal prep. But if you think that about is. it, just two to four hours on one day, and you're pretty much set up for the rest of the week. 
Yeah. Well, we're really excited because Rachel actually brought us some things to actually yeah. taste. Ooh. Yes. So we're gonna kind of reset real quick and give us a two seconds. We'll be right back with some things to some tasty, some treat. tasty, yeah. healthy, clean, clean, treat. clean. Treat. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so we are back. Yes. And I'm going to tell you right now, it smells good. <laughs> and it looks, looks good. And it looks good. Okay. This looks is clean eating. I think I can do it. Yeah. Eating at its finest. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. So yes. I made three different dishes, but the first one we're going to try is an egg and bacon muffin. Okay. Not nothing special, but it's just with eggs and it has red bell bell pepper in it and like bacon, uh, nitrate free break bacon. Oh. So no chemicals or anything yeah. added to yes. Okay. Oh nice. Um, so and this then, is this is a this is a pig that don't have that in it. Now can you get nitrate free bacon from the regular grocery store? You can get it oh, from okay. the regular grocery store. Okay. Um, I purchased this from the grocery store that I usually shop at. Oh, but perfect. yeah you just look on the label and look for nitrate free. Okay. Nice. But it wouldn't say it on the outside, it would say it like on the back. Yeah, it might say it on the, on the outside, on the okay. front, or okay. on the back. Okay, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. All right, so, this, so do you eat this for breakfast or do you eat this up? Well, so, or? these are what I eat for breakfast, and normally I'll eat two of these, and then usually with a half a cup of the fruit. Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah, I feel like that's going to be that. It is not going to be snacking, it's like... Can I have avocado? You can have avocado, yes. Oh, you, if you oh, wanted to add a side of avocado with that. Oh, that, that, I can see how that would work well yeah. together. Mm -hmm. So then you may have like a little oh, southwestern. Yeah. Yeah, south yeah. yeah, I like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that. Let's try it. Let's give it a like it. Now, what kind of seasoning can you use? Pretty much anything that's in your cupboard. Mm -hmm. This has just sea salt, pepper, uh, ground mustard, um, but pretty much chives in it. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. This is good. This I is not bad at all. I don't see mm -hmm. nothing. And a lot of times I'll just put, if I want a little kick, I'll put a little bit of salsa or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is sriracha part of the uh, diet? I like sriracha too. Salsa so, so, works. So, so, so. <laughs> or yeah. even uh, fresh pico de gallo. Oh, yummy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, good, Rachel. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. That's yummy. Oh, so good. That's like mm. Our plate's already clean. What's next? <laughs> so the next dish is is a favorite in my house. One because everyone likes it. Not oh, that's good. Cool. Oh. Family four is not always easy to get everyone on board with what you're making. Yeah. Um, and then also because it's it's quick. Okay. So this is a one pan sausage dish with vegetables that I chose and red potatoes. Okay. So basically a lot of the prep time is just chopping up whatever vegetables. So in this dish I added broccoli and red and yellow bell pepper. Okay. And red potatoes and chopped up um, some sausage. Okay. And with a little extra virgin olive oil and again whatever seasonings that you like. Um, and you put it all on one tray, put it in the oven. 20 minutes tops. Oh, so it's in the oven. Yeah. Okay. In, in the oven. You want me to fry it up? Just a little bit of, of olive oil so okay. that it doesn't dry out when it's yeah. cooking. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. Now, what kind of sausage is this? So, this is also uncured sausage. Okay. 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 Is this is turkey? Well. It's not turkey. It's yeah. regular okay. sausage. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Yeah. But you can still use turkey. You can okay. definitely use turkey. Okay. Nice. All right. Well, I'm ready. All right. Well, I only got a little bit. You got a lot. <laughs> That's all I got. Wow, you can get some it smells get so some good. good. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Why does it taste so buttery? No why? butter. Why does it taste so buttery? Mm. I like the seasoning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you bake this. Yeah. And like I said, it's easy. One dish and 20 minutes in the oven. Mm -hmm. That was good. Both of those very good. Two for two? Two for two, yes. Very good. All right. Mm -hmm. I could definitely do that. Yes. I only want some too. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. I'm not gonna lie. That was really, really good. All right, well, right. now we yeah. have the finale. Mm -hmm. So I have prepared double dark chocolate zucchini. Muffins. You oh, said right. you said two things that I like. Ah. Double. Yes. Double. Actually, three things. 
dark. 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 And with, with, what I'm looking at, what you get ready to look at, but what I'm looking at, looks good. Looks amazing. Mm. So double dark chocolate, say it again. Double dark chocolate zucchini. So you know how somebody you play a game, you get all these, you get all these points. <laughs> ding 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 ding. Mm -hmm. If you said zucchini, it just went ding ding. ding. <laughs> <laughs> it came back down. I was like zucchini. Okay. Yes. Okay, but I do like zucchini. I'm not gonna lie. So you well, might not. You can be able to taste it. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Let's get it. All right. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. This is not bad. Mm -hmm. This is not bad. This is definitely better than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't know what to expect with mm -hmm. zucchini and a muffin, but mm -hmm. unless it's a, a zucchini muffin, you know, those zucchini bread muffins. Which I do like. <laughs> and you literally braid up the zucchini. Well, wow. And mix it in the inside. Wow. I wonder what the zucchini, does it just like help retain the moisture? Is that? It does. Mm. Yes. Wow. Do, do you like, your family, family like this? My daughter did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was 50-50 in my house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. So, I mean, just like any other sweet or treat, mm -hmm. not too much, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I would say one, mm -hmm. if you're gonna have one on a particular day, no more than, than one, okay. if you're really trying to be Okay. Yeah. And so does it have stevia in it, honey in it? It has raw honey in it. Okay. Oh, raw honey? Yeah, raw honey. Wow. Mm -hmm. it's so really are these unsweetened chocolate chips on the top? They are unsweetened. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, I love it. I'm sold. I'm sold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Rachel, we appreciate you. Right, so that food was amazing and delicious. And so, again, Rachel, tell us about the, the website or the company that you got this Yes. Yeah. Cleanfoodcrush.com. Mm -hmm. Tasty recipes, but along with eating healthy and eating clean, you also need to couple that with you know an active lifestyle. Yes. So I see that you're wearing this shirt, yes. and this is like a new phenomenon. This whole Peloton thing, yeah. it looks amazing, and I know that that's helped you with your journey. So Definitely. just tell us a little bit about that. Peloton is what uh, this shirt represents. is a community of people who come together, and it's basically all the comfort of a fitness gym in your own home. Nice. And you pretty much can uh, take advantage of any of the activities that they offer. One of the uh, main or popular ones is um, doing spin classes on a bike. Oh, yeah. wow. You, if you're more of a runner type, um, they offer tread classes. Oh, wow. um, so you can do live classes if you like the atmosphere of a live environment from the comfort of your own home. You can do that as well. Um, if you aren't able to do a live class and you need to do one later that's more convenient for you, you can just go back and view any of the previous oh, nice. recorded classes okay, nice. and be able to do those as well. Um, on top of the bike and the tread, um, they're really becoming very versatile, especially um, with a lot of things still being closed. Right. And so there's a variety of things such as they have yoga instructors who mm. teach yoga. That's awesome. Yeah, they yeah. do yoga. They also do strength training. Um, mm. and you really don't need, you know, all of the heavy weights. Yeah. Um, you can just get a few dumbbells um, wow. to be able to do some of those That's exercises. Awesome. They also have, um, if you are a runner that likes to run outside, you know, they have um, recordings that you can go ahead and do oh, exercises nice. outside. That's so they're cool. really trying to um, incorporate, you know, and touch every aspect of things that people would like to do to get this. So it's like a done. virtual gym. Absolutely. And they've been doing that pre-COVID, right? Definitely so, pre-COVID. Wow, wow. Mm -hmm. so they had something, they had something going on. Yeah, already in place. and they're really just taking it to the next level. They just in the last month or so have um, implemented some boot camp classes um, wow. that incorporates both the bike and strength training in one session. And you can uh, take those classes with some of the Peloton instructors that they have. Yeah. And on top of that, um, they just started this week bar classes, which I've never taken personally, oh, but I've heard about those. yeah, and those yeah. are also available. So they're really, you know, trying to um, That's good. Those make are them hitting everything. They're hitting everything, and it's great. That's it's good. great. You you know, um, you can find friends through the different yeah, websites. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can find friends, or if you already know people who, who own the Peloton or who have the Peloton app. 
just kind of like on social media, Facebook, you can have Peloton friends. Yeah. If you're taking a specific class, you can see who's on the leaderboard at oh, the same nice. time as you. Oh, and nice. you can take classes with your friends. Oh, that's good. Challenges, that kind of thing, if that's you're more competitive. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. That is really, really wonderful. I mean, I just found out today because my friend at, at work, at, at, we were talking about Peloton and she was talking about how she really, really wants one. Mm -hmm. I was saying, oh, we're going to film an episode tonight, mm -hmm. you know, regarding it. And she was like, yeah, they have, I didn't even know they had a treadmill until I did that. I thought it was like, I thought it was cycling. just the cycle. Yeah. yeah, I just thought it was just, and then now I'm hearing even mm -hmm. more that you can mm -hmm. do, with, you don't have, yeah. to have, to have to have those two That's right. uh, products that you can actually do, you yeah. know, core strength training. Absolutely. Oh, that is really, really, really awesome. So how long have you been uh, doing So as you mentioned, we did have the Peloton bike prior to COVID. Mm -hmm. uh, we had it for about a year and a half now. Okay. Um, okay. And my husband was, he was an avid um, cycler even before mm -hmm. we had He's Peloton. in shape. He's yeah, okay. he's, yeah, he's in shape. Yeah. Um, and so I really was slowly getting into the groove of learning how to do cycling classes and things of that nature. But since COVID, um, I've really ramped it up. Yeah. Yeah. That's really utilizing good. it a lot more. And it so looks good on you. It looks you. good on you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm, you know, help me. <laughs> we'll get there. I'll get there. Step by step. Step, step, by, step. step, step by step. step, step, by step. step. step by I really step. appreciate you coming on and sharing your secrets because, you know, sometimes people don't like to do that. They kind of right. like to keep things to themselves. Right. But um, I just think that. You know, we don't need to be like that. And I'm glad that you're not like that. I'm glad mm -hmm. that you're, you're open to share your recipes and yes. your recipes and all that good Definitely. stuff. And you took out your time to be with us. We have children, you have a whole yeah. family. Yes. Um, and so we're thankful that you came. And so we do something every week um, called WOW, which is Women of the Woman of the Week. And so yes. you are our Woman of the Week. You this are week. just, we are amazed. Yes, so we are wow. amazed. So wow. thank you again for joining thank us. Thank you for having me. Um, Again, if you have um, any questions or comments, even for Rachel, we can always forward them to her. Just send them to Dim D M Brown Girls with an S at the end yes. at gmail.com, and we'll make sure we get those questions ans answered for you. Absolutely. Um, and so we're just again happy to have you, and thank, thank you, you again. Thank you. And there's another episode of Dim Brown Girls that we can now what post. <laughs> <laughs>